honeydew list. I want a bathroom. Well, a second bathroom. All right, well, there used to be shelves there. Should have started if you're taking the video before. And that's gonna be a shower, half wall shower. It's full size lengthwise. Walk out and then the toilet will sit right next to it. And that's for a 24 inch vanity, but I think we're gonna go with a standing sink. And then put a mirror over here with a shelf. Because it's still gonna have this going on. Different washer and dryer though. So we'll see how we do. I don't know what the floor is, so that's what this is about. I'm gonna tear this floor up, see what's underneath here. Hopefully it's wood frame and dirt so I can run a slope pretty easily for this plumbing. Put it on a new piece of bread. Well, part of the bathroom build is going to be to move a refrigerator in here, which means the hot water heater is going to become a tankless one. All right, part of the bathroom project is making room for the bathroom project. So we took the regular water heater out. There was a line here the hot water line and then that's the cold water in line so i had to go into the house and you notice there's a mark here <clears throat> that's where the new valves are going to be because the unit's going to sit here it's too deep here so the top of it's going to be there bottom's going to be there i'm going to run some wires down put a junction box put this wire in correctly that's to the bathroom outlet and then extend these this goes up here <clears throat> so we'll put a plug in down there and we'll be able to plug this in and have one plug in because we're also going to put a fridge here now. That's the whole point. We kind of want to put a fridge in there because this fridge in the bathroom is a full size fridge and we use it for beers and soda. So a smaller fridge will eliminate the need for this area and then we'll just have the washer and dryer in here. And that way we can put some shelves in here and use this for bathroom. That's as far as I got for tearing stuff out. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan. And let's see how we can go. This is the doodle that we bought. It's a Rheem Platinum, 11 gallon per minute on demand. Thankfully we have gas here. There's no way I could have put in a huge electrical service for this, unfortunately. They take like four 240 amp or 240 volt, 50 amp, and I don't even have that kind of service to the house. So we went with gas, which is fine. And uh, it's weird, it uses black ABS for exhaust. We got an exhaust and intake, so it needs a fresh air intake, which the, that guy's supposed to have it too, but it was put in you know, forever ago or whatever, but it doesn't have a fresh air, so that's why you see those little vents at the bottom of the doors. It's supposed to be fresh air intake from outside, but Anyway, uh, yep, so there's where we are. Fix to make a water uh, store, uh, a run to the store, because I don't want to shut off the water completely. <clears throat> but when I get to go to the store, I'm going to get two pipes, and I'm going to re I'm gonna take, shut the water off to the whole house, take this line out, put the new lines in with the new outlets, and then we'll put that sheetrock back. I might do that sheetrock tomorrow, because I'm lazy. Then we'll do the electrical, then we'll mount the box and start plumbing stuff up. Well, we just turned it on, and we just turned it on. <laughs> Got the gas hooked up, hot water, cold water. Had a bunch of junk in the line from banging around because underneath the house is a uh, galvanized pipe, and it's just grody. It's grody inside. So that needs to be replaced, I think, because every time you bang on one of those or loosen one it just loosens up gook and thankfully this has got a filter and we've emptied it a few times we've emptied the faucet filters although they're not working perfectly um and the shower shower filter i don't know how to get to that so if it has one anyway uh got one extra outlet down here for the refrigerator to sit in here i just have to move this this guy right here the vent pipe or the drain pipe and connect it to here and that's the last thing i'd have to do I'm not going to worry about that today. Um, everything else is just needs some tie wraps and cleaning up. But it's ready. So I'm going to change this setup here. 
just to go straight up in there because we don't need the extra vent for the hot water here. And I added a couple things here to seal going up in the attic with the heater and cooling. So anyway, that's what it is. It took me two days. Every every system, so you got to do electrical. This is a gas one, so you have to do gas to it. It's got to be three quarter inch, so you got to tap back to where your three quarter inch is. And then of course the inlet and outlet is all three quarter inch because that's the first place your hot water exists. And then so you got gas, you got water, then you got to do electrical. So I had a plug here, but there was a plug, it was coming out of the wall where I was going to mount the unit. So, And then you got to do roofing because there's the drain, I mean there's the vent, it's got to go all the way up out the roof. And they want you to send that second one up there too, but if this Linux doesn't need a, uh, a, a clear inlet air, then that one doesn't. So I just put a pipe on it, but if it has a problem then we'll know and I'll fix it. Anyway, so that's the that's the step to get the refrigerator out of the laundry room. So now we can start working on the laundry room. I'll clean this up a little bit too, the sheet rocking. What'd you do this weekend? I was just playing in the bathroom. for some mudding and some painting and some tiling. And then got all this. Don't have to worry about super fineness in the in the shower because it gets covered up with tile. Same thing over there. Yeah. I got the ceiling taped off so we can throw some texture in. Well, it's been a minute, so now we can put the first coat of paint on and we can walk on the floor. So, paint it everywhere we're not going to tile. This is a gallon. That needs a little bit more, so we're going to get some more because the ceiling isn't done. But, first coat. Looking good. All right, mission accomplished for today. We got valves in trim rings we've got the, the drain for the sink this guy's all screwed to the wall this guy's glued down toilet valve is on trim ring uh, we did not use wax we use the new better than wax seal on the bottom so we'll be watching that closely because it's the first off for us but is plugged in and ready to go that's uh yeah so next step is to finish painting. Yeah, next step is finish painting and then I'll uh, assemble that guy when it's uh, when that sink's dry and we can put the faucet and drain in. Well, I added a couple more things. Got the covers, I mean the, uh, yeah, some covers on, toilet roll wrapper, thing of doodle. This is a little cabinet that's got shelves in it. This is a traditional medicine cabinet. Oh, don't want to miss lose that. I've been looking for that for a year. <laughs> and then got the covers on over there. So we're waiting on the those to deliver. And I've got two lights to put in tonight. And then I'll be done. Got some shelves in. We were debating on whether we were going to... Those are adjustable. We were debating on whether we are going to use black shelves or white shelves. But I think we're going to go with white. All right, so uh, we got as far as we're going to get for a little minute. I'm going to take a break and work on some cars, but um, this is where our current status is. This guy, the replacement, we had a different one, but this is the one we got now. Amen. Really cool. We got that guy in. Um, got all our undercounter stuff taken care of. Everything's on and happy. And... Um, Shelving is being used. We're waiting for washer and dryer. I think that's going to deliver on the 17th. So, like I said, taking a break. I didn't want to use any uh, of the special grouting stuff in a tube. It's like a silicone grout. 
uh, that matches the grout that we have, which is DeLorean gray, of course. It had to be a car color. Um, until we finished uh, the shower. So stuff's a little expensive, so we wanted to open it up at one time. I don't know if I showed. We got all the lighting in. Everything. So this is where it's going to be for a minute. <laughs> 